Good morning, amazing, beautiful unicorns. Today is officially the first day of spring break. Now, I know I'm not a kid anymore, but I am a teacher and I love me some spring break. But taking today to run all kinds of errands, have doctors, have this, have that. My car got hit by something yellow. Oh, whole bunch of damage on the fender, the light broke, the side panel broke, all kinds of problems. But that's okay. Because I'm gonna get it fixed. And then I'm not gonna complain, right? It's just a car. I wasn't in it. It's okay. Okay, one doctor done. I have to have injections in my head again. And this time, not just the left side, but the right side too. I really would like them just to find where this pain is coming from and like, zoink, zap, zing, it right out of me. I was very happy to find out that my doctor today will be at the hospital the day before I have surgery, a major surgery. And he is going to inform the anesthesiology department about how hard I am to be put to sleep because he gave me enough medication to put me to sleep when he had put me to sleep to put down a four to 600 pound man for six to eight hours and I was asleep for 45 minutes. And that's including waking up in recovery. So I am very hard to put to sleep, very hard to keep asleep. And this is a major one, one that the tubes go down your throat and everything. So he told me, which I thought was so nice, I love this doctor, to email him on the day before. He will be at the hospital and he will go to the anesthesiology department and he will inform them that I will be there the next day and that yes, I am indeed extremely difficult to put to sleep. So that took a little bit of my stress level out. I feel a little more on the comfortable side. I'm hoping that whoever the anesthesiologist is, that they actually do listen and they actually do, you know, listen to one of their fellow colleagues and realize, oh my gosh, she really is hard to put to sleep. All right, off to, let's go, all right. First, we're getting a coffee because I haven't had one of those yet, and by God, we need one of those. All right, see you in a little bit. Okay, went into Petco, returned something I needed to return. Um, now I'm braving the grocery store again in an off hour. Therefore, I should not have to deal with stupid people who don't know how to move to the side. That is my plan. I'm only here for three things. So this should not take forever, and this should not make me crazy because I flip and hate the grocery store with a passion. I'm only here for tomatoes and cream cheese. I know, weird combination, but we all know I eat weird. So because I eat weird, tomatoes, done. See, I'm, I'm just I'm just staying away from people. I need a shoppy cart hooey dooey thing. Okay, cream cheese. Hey, you amazing unicorns. All right, so I'm here at Quentin Carr in Brooklyn, New York, and I have to say, they take care of girls amazingly who don't know how to do nothing with cars. I literally came in and just signed my name and like, because I don't know nothing about no cars. So, awesome Quentin in Brooklyn. They will be linked below. If you're local, you can check them out. Because, like, seriously, I, I suck at this stuff. I just had to write my name, my phone number, and sign. Get in a rental car, blah, 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 blah. They told me maybe a week. Done. Yay. Yay, Quentin. All right. Hello, Majestical Unicorns. We are just all over the place today. We just got done returning. Okay, we already have our rental car. It's this little Chevy Cruze thing from my Jeep, which is okay, you know. It drives a little zippier, I guess. I, I feel zippier, and I feel like kind of giant inside of it, but that's okay. That's all right, and it's got a key, which I haven't had a key in a while, but that's okay too. Ooh, I was jamming. But I also returned a crappy router, so now maybe my internet will work and help me out a little bit, and, and, I got a nice compliment. The lady asked me to please, wherever I go next, to bring some of my happiness because it made her day. So that made my day, especially since I've been kind of just on the go, on the go, on the go today. 
and I've had a hard time finding happy. So for someone to say that I brought them happy just by being pleasant, yay! One for Team Unicorns. All right, off to the next stop, which is Bed Bath & Beyond or Target, and then back to the house, and I'm, oh, I gotta pick up a package. Got Unimail! I've been to the Unimail once already. I got my Hello Fresh. thank you, Jazzy Cat. Um, put it all away, but now I have another package, and I gotta be back there by four. So. We're, we're rolling, we're rolling, we're rolling! Hi y'all, welcome to Pillow Talk. Good day, busy day. Did tons of stuff today. I want the day before surgery to be, I'm trying to get everything done by tomorrow. That's on my to-do list. So that the day, the next day, which will be the day before surgery, I can really just lay, watch TV, eat bonbons, and do nothing but just veg and relax because then I'll have surgery and then I'll have to recoup. And you know, when you're recouping from surgery, you're laying and you're watching TV and you're doing nothing, but you're in pain and you're not really yourself. So I want a day of just. I'm relaxing, laying in bed, I'm sitting on the couch watching some TV, I'm do whatever I want to do, I'm doing it. That's my plan. So yeah, feel better today, so I think my meds, the new meds that are prescribed are maybe regulating a little bit. Well, I hope everybody's had a great night. I hope that everybody's having a wonderful springtime. I love each and every one of you. You know what to do. Leave that thumbs up, and I hope you support. Um, your support really does matter to me. If you're here watching, it matters. So go ahead and mash that subscribe button and be an amazing majestical unicorn with me. Yeah, so you know, just, 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 just subscribe. Go ahead, do it, do it, do it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good night.